For all my Michael Keaton Batman fans out there, do I have a treat for you with this Unmasked Michael Keaton Batman from the Flash Movie Multiverse, which the movie is coming out in June 2023. So let's go ahead now and open up this movie memorabilia action figure. So here's a figure ready to unbox. I've already gone ahead and cut the sill right here at the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it like so. Move these flaps over the way and pull the figure out. So as you can see, you get the action figure in a nice clear form fitted shell, alternate hands, his accessories. He's got strapping right here at the torso as well as the arms and the legs securing him and his soft goods cape coming out from the backside. And like most McFarland toys, he does have a display stand as well as a collectible card. So give me one second to get this figure ready to showcase to you. So let's go ahead and check out this action figure's articulation, starting with the head and working our way down to the feet. Now for the head, nice 360 spin, as you can see, tilting side to side. He does have a decent tilt side to side, but there is a gap that kind of forms when you do that. So let's see, tilting downwards, not too bad, but again, a gap happens right here. May not want to do that too much. Ooh, he does have a really good up look. But because I have a funny feeling that if I play around with that too much, I might pop his head off. Well, let's go ahead and check out his T motion on his shoulders. Not too much. As you can see, there is restriction due to the shoulder armor. So that's about as far as it can go. Let's check out the rotation. Spins around quite nicely, as you can see. Any bicep swivel? Yes, he's got bicep swivel. Very good. There's the two pins right here at the elbow. And they go in really nicely, as you can tell. Bins great. Wrist, they spin around quite nicely, or the hands, technically. And as for the wrist motion, they go inwards pretty well and back pretty well. And these hands pop up really easily in order to use his alternate hands. And they just pop right back in, like so. All right, let's put his hands upwards to check out the crunch motion. He can crunch really well going forward and pretty well going backwards. Not bad. Check out the torso, upper torso right here. He can spin around really good. Ooh, get escape out of the way. So as you can see, a nice 360 that way. And let's check out the lower portion. Yep, really well there too. Very nice. All right, as for the legs, they kick up really well. And let's see about going backwards. That's about as far. There is some restriction right here, as you can tell. They get hung up. So that's about as far as you can go backwards. All right, let's check out the knees. They bend really well, going backwards. Great. Any thigh rotation? No, they're pretty solid. No upper thigh rotation. Just ever so slightly. Uh, let's see if any calf. Nope, nothing on calf. Feet point down really well. Point up really well. They do spin around at the ankle. Really good. That's the toe articulation when it comes to these microphone figures. Great. And let's see if they rock. Yep, they do have rocking from side to side at the ankle. All right, very nice. And just so you can tell, here is the back side as well. And it does have the holes at the bottom of the feet for the display stand to be used on. So, speaking of the display stand, here it is. Got a nice little gloss DC logo right there. Here's his alternate hands. A nice closed fist punching action type of hands. And he's got his grappling hook, as you can see. Classic, as well as his battering. Very nice, very nice. And again, here is his collectible card that he comes with. And on the back side, feel free to pause it. You can read the description here on this Batman based on the Flash movie. All right, let's go ahead and check out the size of this action figure. Now this gold label Batman is stated to be seven inches tall per the website. But putting the ruler up to him, he comes out to be more like seven and a quarter inches tall. To get a sense of how this Batman Michael Keaton will stand up within your DC Multiverse collection, here he is with other action figures from that line. Now let's take a closer look of some of the action figure details as well as some of the poses we can achieve with this Batman here from the Flash Movie Multiverse. 
Here is the unmasked Michael Keaton Batman in all his action figure glory. Right away, I have to say you're first drawn to the head sculpt, which isn't too bad in the details and for sure has a bit of his likeness. There's also nice details to the hair with his texturized look and color gradation from a light gray to a darker slightly brownish gray at the ends. He also has great piercing blue eyes, but it's a little weird that I feel like he is side glancing and not looking forward. Next up is the iconic black and yellow Batman symbol emblazoned on his chest. Such a classic symbol from the 80s movie that I'm glad they didn't change here. The figure has a soft goods cape that attaches right under the neck area. I assume it could be nylon as it has a bit of stretch to it. I also like how the ends of the cape have those classic Batman points. Here is the Batman utility belt with all of its compartments and capsules attached. It's disappointed that it's not in the iconic yellow paint scheme from the original movie. But looking at the Flash trailer, it is all black now. You can also see all the great form-fitted and segmented body armor that encases his torso, arms, and legs to protect him as he fights against evil in Gotham. He also dons the classic Batman gauntlets on his arms with the side spikes. Very nice! Here's Batman holding the Batarang with all of its fun details to it. I do like the silver coloring that it has. Next is a grappling gun accessory, ready to help him soar new heights over Gotham. I didn't notice this at first, but his boots have a mottled green painted texture to them. Surprising that it wasn't all black like the rest of his body armor, but perhaps this is how it looks in the movie. Being a child of the 80s, having this Michael Keaton Batman as an action figure is a real treat. Mainly because this was the first Batman movie I ever saw, and because of that, Keaton will always be my Batman. But I would love to hear from you in which actor who has played Batman in the movie so far is your favorite in the comments below. Now Tim Burton directed this movie back in the day in the 80s and you can definitely see his directing and visual styles within it, which is great. Michael Keaton beat out a lot of Hollywood stars for this role such as Kevin Costner, Harrison Ford, Tom Selleck and more. Back then he was considered a controversial lead as Keaton was mainly known for comedy back then. But after completing Beetlejuice with Burton, well, Tim Burton thought Michael Keaton was going to be perfect for this role, and in my opinion, he was right. Now here's a fun fact I recently discovered about that Batman movie. At one time, they thought about having Robin in the film, and get this, they wanted to have Eddie Murphy play that part. Not sure why that didn't happen, but I would have totally watched that movie version, hands down. <laughs> also, if you remember seeing the movie, Billy Dee Williams played Harvey Dent back then. How awesome would it have been to have him play Two-Face in the sequel? Now I know there are a ton of great movie facts out there for the 1989 Batman movie and if you want to share your favorite, feel free to drop it in the comments below. Let's go ahead and check out some of the packaging highlights this action figure comes in. Behind the clear plastic window on the front side, this gold labeled Batman sure is in an interesting pose. Perhaps he's in a semi run pose. You also have the Flash movie logo just below him. There's logos and names on the right side. The backside has a decent illustration of the masked Batman on the back that we saw in the collector's card already. Now I think one of the biggest highlights is on the left hand side, which is a QR code that takes the user to the DC Universe Infinite, DC Comics digital subscription library. Leave a comment below to let me know if you currently use that subscription and what you think about it. Now let's move on to my pros and cons opinions over this Batman action figure. The pros, the Batman logo. This classic Batman logo front and center is superb and it just brings back a wave of childhood nostalgia for me seeing it. The cape. At first I wasn't too thrilled with it, expecting to get a sculpted plastic cape that is normally designed on most McFarlane Toys figures. But having the soft goods cape really allowed me to achieve a new level of action poses with this cape crusader here. Though I do wish they would have added some posable wires within the cape in order to achieve some dynamic billowing poses with it. Maybe next time. Stability. I personally did not have much issues with this action figure falling over when placing him in action poses. Though I did use the display stand he comes with to give him some extra stability. Just in case though. The cons. The face sculpt. Honestly, this is my only gripe about this figure, which is the face sculpt. Now don't get me wrong, it's a great face sculpt and you do get that Michael Keaton likeness to it. But I would have preferred a more aged up, older looking Michael Keaton. Throw in some brow lines and some wrinkles please. Michael Keaton's in his 70s for Pete's sakes. This face is way too smooth. I have to say, this is just a nice piece of nostalgia that I have here in this Batman action figure. And I can't wait for Michael Keaton to reprise his role as Batman again in the upcoming Flash movie. Now this unmasked Michael Keaton gold label Batman version is a Target exclusive that goes for about $19.99. I'll leave a link to the Target website in the description below for you to check out additional details over it. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this gold label review over this Batman action figure. And if so, smash that like button.
Also, leave a comment below to keep this conversation going over this Michael Keaton Batman. So, ready to check out more DC Multiverse action figures like these? Or maybe these collectibles are more your style. Well, thanks for joining me here at Nerd Amazing. And as always, be passionate in what you do, share your passion with others, and be kind to one another, as this world can always use more goodness in it. This is Adam with Nerd Amazing, and I'll see you next time.